so I I'm going to record now so here uh, we have this extension line uh, and uh, you need to have a small gap here and this extension line comes out of the arrow here a little bit and you need to have a small uh, uh, extension this is also an extension so uh, some offset from the arrow so these values you need to do it by yourself uh, now in the assignment sometimes we will give it but uh, if you do your project you need to have a reasonable value for this and here also we need to have a small gap between the text and the uh, arrow so you can't come and join this arrow and the text so you need to have a small gap here small space here also you need to have a small space so those are some mandatory requirements and uh, in, the, in a circle we normally mark the center line of a circle so uh, solidworks will give you automatic tools or easy tools to mark the center line in a drawing uh, always when you do 2d sketches we mark the center lines but in a drawing also we need to do it so we will do uh, later learn how to do this in the CAD uh, environment so <coughs> i will go move on to the basic rules now now the first these things actually this slide this this presentation you can keep it uh, in your entire life even because <coughs> if you are practicing as a design engineer uh, these things are must okay these rules uh, you need to remember and here we have given these kind of um, uh, commands this is for autocad okay so if you are using autocad you can execute these commands and do these changes SOLIDWORKS the appearance is, uh, approach is little bit different so when we put the dimensions in SOLIDWORKS we will learn about them so here uh, in AutoCAD we, we use this kind of shortcut keys dimension text, dimension size, arrow size this is about arrow size so you need to have a reasonable arrow size and you need to have a reasonable extension and you need to have a reasonable offset here a gap and uh, arrow size text height and space in between dimension lines so we have shown you arrow size here text height is important and spacing reasonable space in between the dimensions are also important dimensions they got gap okay you should not have too much gap or too little gap <coughs> and these dimensions are called the baseline dimensions why I say this is this is also baseline dimension because everything is measured from with respect to this line everything is measured with respect to this line so these the kind of dimensions are called baseline dimensions uh, so there is another kind of dimension called continue dimension we will look at that later normally when you do a design no you should have baseline dimensions as much as possible uh, if you then everything is measured with respect to one base one base so when you do uh, your tutorials project work uh, press, remember to uh, use as much as possible these kind of baseline dimensions okay so we will move on <coughs> and uh, here uh, we can dimension inside the view so when you have a drawing you can dimension inside the drawing May, there is no rule to say everything should be put outside so when you get your assignments tutorials you may have seen we have put dimensions inside the drawing okay and here uh, it says dimension lines crossing each other so this is incorrect so you can't have cross dimensions okay so to avoid these things uh, very easy we can put point 0.8 inside and take 1.2 outside okay so easily we can avoid that by switching these dimensions switching this that means you can take the small dimension inside and put the big one outside if you can't avoid this one you need to have a small dimension break here. so you can have a small break that is you have to cut this dimension line here and have some small break that is something like this if i show you with the with the whiteboard <coughs> I hope this is uh, recording. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I will take a small example and show you how to have a dimension break. So dimension breaks are important. They may have 
present karo that is incorrect actually it's not it's a actually incorrect unprofessional work okay so you can't have it's like electronic circuit paths you can't have cross dimension cross uh, dimensions so in electronics this is allowed but in engineering drawings it's not allowed so we will uh, see Uh, now I'll take a small example and I'll show you how to avoid this so we will uh, uh, we'll have the same example so I have to I have a dimension like this okay. I can put the dimension text on top of this no problem sometimes we can have like this in between the arrows or sometimes we can have below the arrows that is also possible all these three cases are this one also are okay okay so normally people will put within something like align with the arrow or so they will put above the arrow below the arrow we rarely put uh, you can put that way also no problem and if if another dimension cross you need to have a small gap here so if there is another dimension crossing and if you have a value like this 1.1 you need to have a small gap P. so that gap P is called uh, this gap P is called dimension breaks so i need to have a dimension break in every cat software this is given so you can specify this gap in autocad you can specify this gap uh, you have you can ask autocad to deal with it so when you do your uh, dimensionings try to avoid this as much as possible uh, if you can remember in early electronics uh, they allowed this kind of notations if you have done uh, electronics uh, earlier mehema isara notations dana dunna but this is also now all kind of method this is i am talking about electronics okay electronic circuitry uh, now in electronics they allow this so this is not uh, intersecting here okay ni auding yana vitare so if you have to have an intersected line you have to have a small vertex here so in electronics theory and drawing theory is different okay electronics we can have this kind of all convention or can just cross this <clears throat> if you if you want to have a node here you need to highlight it okay so that's a different uh, approach electronics so we we don't mix the things okay that's why i'm telling both the cases this is about engineering designs or drawings okay so this is drawing theory okay <coughs> now we will look at another one <coughs> dimension place correctly the isleke veradda tibuna cross hona so we are we can place it correctly one way is you can have a dimension break or else you can have the small dimension inside so small dimension inside then there is no crossing clearly visible no uh, problem with this kind of dimensions and here it says dimension text align with the dimension so this is normally easy to read but if you want you can put the dimensions like this here. text 1.75 it's a vertical this is horizontal so this is also allowed no problem with this uh, but you don't put other way you can 1.75 and petrally and name so you need to write this way so one that is you you don't write normally 1.75 this way okay so then it's very odd okay make a normally we don't do but we we write this way okay uh, this way is okay so this is also practice okay this is perfect but this is not okay so remember that also <coughs> and uh, now here all are horizontal all dimensions are horizontal early case some of the dimensions are horizontal some are vertical so this depends on the space availability sometimes okay so if you want to uh, uh, if you don't have space to put this horizontally if there are other parts here other dimensions going here so you may have it uh, at a vertical uh, you may have at a 90 degree okay vertical and here uh, we can have dimensions above the text no problem with this 100 percent okay or below the text rarely we put below but it's also okay 
and here uh, this is called continuous dimensions then mama is cell q over onto baseline dimensions so this 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 is an example of baseline dimensions based on a certain line and here another example given this is called continuous dimensions dimensions are continued dimension given for this this is another one another one so three dimensions given this this method is normally not very good why we say that okay so i practice uh, i'm normally in engineering or any design class they will tell that this is not a good way of putting the dimensions okay so why we say this is not a good way of putting a dimension okay so if you take this object okay if i put this kind of dimensions people will think ah this is okay no problem 1.0 this is 1.5 easy to read I, I can easily read me on the pain or dimensions one so yes yes uh, everyone is getting the same problem uh, my, my router is very close to each other uh, uh, this is very close to each other whole strength signals uh you see we, uh, i'll try to turn the other one on give me a few minutes i'll come back uh so uh i was in uh, i was in this explaining uh, about the continuous dimensions so continuous dimensions are like that uh and uh, if somebody can put the baseline dimensions for also for this so if someone comes and put a baseline dimension we have a base here and we have several dimensions for this one this one and this one. so we will have three dimensions like this okay so base uh, this is called baseline baseline okay earlier one was the continuous one continuous one so here uh, if you put it in baseline this is these are the values i am going to normally put 1 2.5 this is 3.5 okay so people will think ah, they both are same but uh, when it comes to uh, manufacturing uh, this this method is not very not recommended make a varadi money me not recommended okay not recommended uh, so this is the most good better best tool <coughs> why why what is the reason why i'm saying this <coughs> so in a normal manufacturing even in a civil work or even in a carpentry work you may have seen carpenters take the wood piece of wood then they finish one side and they measure from every uh, measure from that side always or they got the carpenters say to get around gano is they have machines <coughs> they finish one side and they measure everything from that side why then they are applying this baseline methods why, why uh, if you make a mistake here now when you do this kind of a manufacturing i'll measure one if i me measure something like 1.01 and cut this side there is an error here okay if there is an error here that error will come to this one if you measure this one as 1.51 there is another error for this surface that error will come to this so at the end of the day you have uh, this 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 uh, line offset by 0 0.02 millimeters okay antima patta 0 0.02 lim offset ela thiye because i made mistakes here I made a mistake here, made a mistake here by measuring, when I measure. So normally everyone will do mis mistakes, manual, manually if you do these things. <coughs> so, uh, but if you do this kind of a scheme, if I do a mess error here, that error only for this one. This is independent. This is independent. Okay. So this error only affects this, this part only. Okay. Then other parts are independent. So they don't get any errors so that's why we prefer this method okay <coughs> so 
reading reading drawing reading is easy here metana read karanne gihama adu kara kara balanna one but uh, manufacturing wise this is good so when you need try to give a drawing for the others to manufacture always try to apply baseline methods okay not the continuous methods then here uh, there is another one called parallel dimensions uh, this is very similar to our continuous dimensions uh, parallel ones are these kind of parallel <coughs> parallel values you can give that is to the center line i have given 0.75 1.5 is the big one big length okay, so you can have two dimensions parallel to each other uh, it's also a method then uh, I have told this uh, last week also. Do not dimension hidden lines. So this is a hidden dimension, hidden lines. This is not good, incorrect. We don't put dimensions to hidden drawings. So if you want to put the dimensions, you need to put it into a clear solid line. Okay, this line is clear in the drawing. This is not a solid line. This is just a hidden line. So don't put dimensions to hidden lines. Like put it into a clear line like this okay so actually this is incorrect <clears throat> then uh, dimension should be given where they are obvious <clears throat> so uh, put the dimensions in clear areas that is here uh, this is called incorrect why we say this is incorrect is we have put the dimensions to a uh, center line we can put the dimension to a center line no problem but it should be a very clear view now when you put this way it's not very clear this is very clear 1.3 to the center of the circle it's very clear to the read okay that's the problem here and this one is also error so you can put the one here so these two dimensions are are the ones which are uh, having errors okay so you need to have put you need to put it in a very clear place which everyone can read without any uh, ambiguity okay <clears throat> and this stuff dimensions must not repeat uh in solid works we can't do that when you put dimensions or oh, it will be over defined uh, in the solid work software so solid works automatically avoid that but in other cat software like autocad this may not be the case so but don't put repeat dimensions then metana de gamma right metana de gamma so no need okay so when you get to your assignments also you need to look at every view in the assignment so i'm uh, i'm not giving dimensions for dimensions uh, in a single place i am distributing the dimensions okay so here two given two given why this is not good actually is when you give two dimensions like this uh, when the manufacturer tries to manu start manufacturing he, he should he will get a confusion whether I should keep my ruler and measure this value or whether I keep the ruler and measure this value. Okay. Whether I use this two or whether I am going to use this two for my manufacturing. So he will have a doubt. Because tolerance always. Because we have we can't manufacture this for two. There will be a 2.01, 2.01, 1.19. So there will be a small error. So error will be changed when you start with different places. Okay. So manufacturing methods are changing depending on the dimensions you use. Okay. So don't uh, have repeated dimensions. Uh, make a read current lazy. That's not the purpose. We are giving it for the manufacturing. So manufacturing guys should be able to easily use these things and do your ma their manufacturing ac uh, accurately. Now this is also baseline dimension okay make a then known name because this is given here clearly okay <clears throat> so when you uh, do your project works assignments use these techniques uh, here uh, when dimensioning consider the machine machining process so always you have to remember what are the machining processes now it will be now since you are in the first year still you may not aware of the machining processes when you go to the second third the fourth year when you study uh, manufacturing module especially mechatronic students mechanical guys uh, they will learn about these machining processes <coughs> so whether you are going to use cnc machine or a normal lathe machine 
for a 3D printer. Likewise, different machines have different capabilities. So you need to remember that also. Uh, what are the available methods available in our workshops or our in our country? Okay. So when dimensioning, consider the machining processes involved. So here we have measured everything with respect to the baseline here. Here we haven't done it. So depending on the machines we have, uh, we are going to use different techniques. Uh, here, uh, now some, some, sometimes we will put additional dimension like this in SOLIDWORKS also we did it. This is called driven dimension in SOLIDWORKS. So if you have additional dimensions, you normally put it within brackets. Uh, this is not used to man manufacture. Okay, may dimension a manufacturing or a So if you see on uh, manufacture dimensions within brackets, those dimensions are not going to be used for manufacturing. This this is going to be used. This is used. This is used. This is just a reference that is just just a, just for reading. Okay, so if you have dimensions within brackets or dimensions with light colors in SOLIDWORKS it's black and gray so if you have black colors in SOLIDWORKS uh, it's very powerful with strong dimensions driving dimensions if you see gray color uh, faded colors in dimensions those are weak dimensions driven dimensions uh, but uh, colors may not be very clear distinguishable color selling up to depending on the printouts and the printers so you may put a bracket so if you see a bracket don't use it for the manufacture okay <coughs> then uh, referencing or omitting dimensions now here the same case again told we have uh, three here one 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 the mehem api daan na three three no i one 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 so we can we have we can put within brackets this one or we can put these three within brackets so we have to make one either we delete this or we have to put a dim, uh, bracket covering that uh, dimension okay so remember those techniques uh, when it comes to dimension then we have uh, hatching last time uh, we discussed hatching a little bit and when you do hatch uh, you should not go over the text okay so this is good this is good so you need to remove the hatching area around the text this is automatically work with a lot of software so software is handling that but remember the theory okay it's very wrong okay so when you have overlapping hatches above the text uh, your text are not clear okay and uh, dimensioning circles normally when you dimension a circle you need to have a lead in solidworks solidworks normally put this way but we can have a leader nicely and put the text horizontal you should not read your drawings okay you should not bend your heads and read a drawing that's not the purpose you should have a horizontal or vertical text not like aligned text this is not recommended that is it's okay sometimes people put it it's not it's not an error not recommended okay and here also it says incorrect <coughs> normally we don't put dimensions to these kind of Mm, but uh, sensitive areas now this is a sensitive area that is this is like a quadrant of a circle we are not very clear about this but we can put it into a perimeter like this uh, very clear uh, you should not put this in inside the other sensitive information uh, okay so this is okay recommended correct this is not good okay so when it comes to circles normally we put the diameters when it comes to arcs, we put the radius. Okay, we normally don't put radius for circle. Arcs, fillets, we put the radius. We don't put diameter for fillets, arcs. Okay, so try to remember those points. Circles always we use diameter symbols. If the diameter symbol is not available, sometimes I have seen some some solid versions. 
depending on the installation or the libraries uh, issues you may not get the diameter if you don't get the diameter uh, symbol may symbol again no if it is not coming uh, one thing is you can type type that in english okay so we, normally we put it as di dia dia and it say we will see 5 mm something like this this is also okay but try to get this symbol from the software uh, that is the best way this greek uh, letter if it is not coming you can just type dia and put the value but uh, it will take some time to type radius also this r will be appear normally but if this is not appearing you can write rad okay so and if you want you can put a dot rad say five okay. so normally this is automatically handled by the software by putting the letter r samara without samara even man that you know like issues are in there so you can put it diameter okay symbol or the word diameter no need to put the full word diameter just uh, see, let three letters in then uh, different ways of specifying a chamfer so the, we have learned about these things when, uh, when it comes to a chamfering uh, we put angle length 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 or else in solid works you may have seen this kind of uh, measurements also in our tutorials so you can put uh, 0.25 multiplied by the angle and chamfer so the word champ will be uh, typed there otherwise it's not very clear so this this is going to be automatically handled by the software in solidworks we can type this or we can ask the software to do it automatically so when you do solidworks lesson uh, we will do this and see okay, in autocad we need to type this entire word uh, and here we had learned about this broken dimensions last week so if you have a broken dimension solid i said that when you measure from here to there it's not the real value in the hard paper hard copy you will not get the same value uh, so when you have underlined when you make it when you take a printout and measure this is from here to here the printout will not get 12.5 if you take one to one scale printout again make a 12.5 anyway because it's a broken view okay but actual part is 12.5 okay so you can underline that one this is sometimes people do anyway without the underlying symbol also no problem because we see this broken view so we need to understand this is not according to scale specified dimensions that are not in scale so you can have underlying dimensions okay mm. then when it comes to patterns uh, normally we put uh, this this is the parent of the pattern we have to give the information at least for one instant and we can type eight times this kind of a thing so this is the bread circle diameter uh, the circle reference circle diameter and these are the individual circles diameters and you need sometimes people will put this word equispacing without equispacing also if you put eight times something you need to understand uh, when you look at the drawing you can understand this is equally space some patterns are there we don't put equal equally space patterns so depending on the drawing you need to type this word or not okay. eight times means you have eight circles one two three four five six seven eight eight circles okay so this is not normally appearing by the software normal not normally uh, we can have we can get it automatically also when we discuss solid works we will learn. look at this okay uh, those are the normal dimension methods okay not much but uh, remember these set of rules uh, especially uh, especially uh, this baseline method so what i discuss here baseline schemes are good compared to continuous dimensions and try to avoid uh, this kind of uh, breaks okay so you need to have a small break here this kind of overlapping dimensions you need to have a break okay so those are the most important things then uh, you can put dimensions inside and you can have vertical dimensions like this above the arrow or align with the arrow 
or is, uh, even you can have dual dimension so in this slide we don't have a presentation for that slide for that uh, make a variety so you can't put dimensions for hidden lines then uh, you don't repeat the dimensions reference dimensions or weak dimensions then don't hatch above the text here we have reference here then uh, these are the ways we put uh, radius for fillets, diameters for circles these are not recommended this is good this is good not good okay and uh, underlying dimensions which are not according to scales how to put a dimension for chamfers uh, then how to pattern uh, how to put dimensions to a pattern likewise there are ways okay so we will look at uh, with the solid tours how to do these things one by one and uh, we have another small area to cover uh, later we look at how to get the bill of materials so at the end of the day you will have a, sometimes a assembly file so in the assembly file you will have different parts in different parts you have different drawings then every drawing can get can be uh, taken to a file that is that file is called bill of materials a table so we know <clears throat> how many parts need we need from plastic part number one how many numbers how part number two how many numbers likewise we can create a bill of material and get get it purchased from a uh, seller okay so in solidworks also we can do this solidworks supports this uh, easily we can do it in solidworks okay so we have we may have different drawing sheets different parts at the end of the day we are going to produce a Tab that is called bill of material. B O Q kila samaru ki no bill of quantities, bill of materials. Both are almost same. Okay. So those are the things uh, we have to do under our technical drawings. So we will look at uh, a SolidWorks example. So I have g uploaded this uh, slide in the end run. So we are coming to the end of our module uh, we i may need only one day more to cover uh, the rest of the lessons uh, we will have our assignments next coming wednesday so next week we can finish our module almost uh, we did uh, i think we did around 13 weeks so per week we did two sessions so a lot of sessions have been done to cover this area uh, so we will start with a uh, simple dimensioning method okay. so i will take a i, I can use that uh, we will do our tutorial and get an experience okay. so we have our tutorial last week i ask you to save this for the next day so i'm going to use this and put some dimensions So uh, this is the drawing I generated last week. So if you look at our slides, slides are starting with a method called uh, model items. So I will uh, explain the slides a little bit, then we will go back to the tutorial. So I will start with the first method, dimensioning schemes, model item method. So here uh, I took the tutorial, so and I'll explain with the tutorial. You can complete the tutorial uh, by yourself. 
Now, we have several ways of uh, annotating our designs. Okay, so, I will try to talk about uh, uh, almost all the tools, important tools. Uh, here we have the smart methods. So, smart methods like our normal smart tool. Uh, we, we we can apply this smart tools and uh, just uh, select these lines from here to here and put a dimension so when it comes to dimensioning you can see a uh, 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 dimension was put here uh, I have a issue with my computer so here this diameter symbol is not appearing not diameter so sometimes you may have seen this in your computer even. Uh, this is because uh, normally the diameter symbol should appear. My, my version has an issue. Uh, so if I try to delete this, you will get 40 only. But if you want to put this as a diameter, manually you can put it. But this version is not allowing me. So I have an error coming up like this. Use tools, options, system options, file options. This file is missing in my installation so when i do my installations this was not came i think this is in, in student version that's why it's not coming students are not allowed to put uh, professional all the things uh, commercially done so normally if you have a pirated version uh, you will not have problems uh, this will be automatically working so check whether this is not working in your computer so if it is not working i can't use this diameter symbol that's why you got that message like word mod diam or something this symbol is not uh, uploading uh, so if this is uh, uh, this is a diameter okay so this circle I am putting the diameter uh, so if this is continuously happening uh, one thing is uh, we we can type dia okay and put a dot 10 do this kind of a manual typing okay otherwise it should get the diameter symbol automatically okay make a diameter symbol summoning in one but in my version it's not appearing i have missing libraries so you can do that by yourself uh, then when you click on a dimension as i said earlier we have several ways of editing the dimension so when you click on the dimension uh, we can uh, remove the tolerance that is tolerance means this sorry decimal places i can remove okay so if i want to remove the decimal places you can just select this number of decimal places from here okay so depending on the work you do you select the number of decimal places <coughs> and uh, these kind of alignments can be applied now making the that death, death, death symbol there. so sometimes so auditors automatically put these for you but if this is not coming automatically you need to put it in the drawing and this is the bottom flat counter bow and this is an angle counter sink so if you have a counter sink part you you should use this if you have a square part use this one decrease plus minus this is center line so center line symbol up it center line symbol like the unknown method may draw in here then if you see something like this okay get load bend in it maybe symbol that that could draw in here it's they are measuring from center to center okay so the center line symbol is given if you measure from center to center to a center okay so something like this i i have to load whiteboard that bit assume uh, you are ma making a building okay normally this is done in civil a uh, lot of times uh, in civil uh, or architecture they they can measure the lengths of the buildings uh up here walls same thing you know walls are measurements gonna put so people will normally measure from corner to corner okay from one corner to another corner but there are other ways of measuring a wall now if you think this is a building copy building you have a wall here you have another line so this is a building okay this is the wall okay like a wall like a building okay so wall has a thickness so uh, you can measure from corner to corner like this okay normally people will do that sometimes you can 
<coughs> you can measure uh, you can draw center lines of this wall okay center lines center lines dala center lines to measure karanna puru so this is also another method so uh, you can put that center line symbol in that measurement the method that may have a symbol at the mouth this one uh, something like a circle and a L shaped okay so uh, you can put this kind of a symbol circle circle and L shape we have to understand even though if I don't give the center lines, you need to understand this is measured center to center. Okay. This is measured corner to corner. So in civil uh, people will use this because they have uh, always a thickness. They have walls, internal walls, external walls. So you have a thickness. So you can put this in. Okay. That's the center line symbol. <coughs> okay. Always a... Uh, in a mechanical drawing also you can have the center line symbols to a center of a line okay so remember that one when it comes to a center line uh, so I was in here uh, I, when I click on the text I'm getting the text properties so if you want you can have this kind of uh, plus minus values uh, so you can have something like this what is the meaning of this this is the absolute value or the theoretical value but when it comes to manufacturing you can add 0.1 or you can deduct 0.2 so manufacturer has a flexibility normally in a drawing we need to give a tolerance and tolerance can be given as something like a limit tolerance like this so here we can have something like this then the idea is what uh, you get uh, <coughs> two values here now so i will uh, enter now decimal places are not enough so i'll increase the decimal places now you can see this uh we'll have something like this if i give something like this so i can uh, my absolute value will be 40 theoretical value and uh, I can reach up to 0 0.1 40.1 now I can go backward up to 39.95 so these kind of limits also can be given or we can have a symmetric value both sides same <coughs> or else we can have a minimum value 40 minimum keep 40 the minimum you can have any num any maximum value maximum but minimum maximum we normally don't use then we have bilateral bilateral is we can have two values minus side is uh, having small tolerance plus sign i have a big tolerance okay then we have uh, none without tolerance this is the ideal one basic ideal case so we don't normally use none and basics but uh, when it comes to your assignment tutorials you may have seen these kind of dimensions api tolerance dala dimensions tutorials but when you do a manufacturing you should have a tolerance given okay we 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 didn't manufacture any part we just practice the software so when it comes to the practicing the software we didn't put it but if you are manufacturing this model definitely you have to give a tolerance if you don't give anything if you give this kind of a value your manufacturer can do whatever he likes okay he can't he he can't manufacture for 40 because you, there is a, always a human error or machine errors so he will go he can go up to 41 even he will try to be within 40 but if you give this kind of a value definitely he should be inside this range okay he can't play okay play only within this range okay he doesn't he doesn't have any idea. Me, me, parte ka, badagat parte ka, the make, me measurement ka ita, me precise when no need. Or you can say, for an example, if this, if this is a mobile phone design, if this is a mobile phone design, this forty is very close. But if you think about a house or a wall, civil work, this forty may not be very much. Uh, <coughs> should not be very accurate. Okay. 
when you make a mobile phone or a computer you need to have precise dimensions manufacturing techniques okay so it depends on the application your tolerances are going to change so if you work with the civil work civil design sometimes you don't put tolerance not at all I don't know if you have a plan I don't know if you have a plan I don't know if you have a plan So you just give it to Fort To the boss and he will do the cement work He doesn't care about whether it's 40.1 or 39.9 But if you do a mobile phone design This is really crucial This value is really crucial So remember that depends on the application you do Precise applications you need to have tight tolerances. Okay. Uh, application ne ka itam me accurate trend no tolerance ka itam tight trend no Otherwise you can have a big tolerance. Okay. So you have these kind of other methods also here, fit and other techniques. I'll not do that uh, today because it's, it's uh, coming with manufacturing classes. Now if you are if you are having something, there are two, three kinds of fits. We say normally loose fit, tight fit. Likewise, there are fits. Now, we will work on a shaft, a hole, a design. So, if you are designing a bearing, bearing is a, uh, there is a shaft rotating inside the bearing. So, you need to have a small tolerance between the shaft and the bearing. So, uh, uh, you, you, you may have a tight fit. तब गोलो देखा थी कारात्य का पाठ्यांग गाने वो टापी गाने टाइट फिट हैं। We expand the frame and we ask the frame to cool down, then it will be a tight fit. Okay, so you have different methods in manufacturing. So if you want to have a tight fit, you should give it to the give it to the manufacturer. ये वाटर में हम टॉलरेंस टेबल्स की लगाती है तीन। So if you just Google it, you will find out these values. This A10 has a meaning. फिर टेके ए टेन नोटे मीनिंग निकालती हैं, सो यू सो यू हैव टू लुक एट द टेबल्स एंड गेट द मिलीमीटर वैल्यू, सो आई विल नॉट डू दैट फॉर द टाइम बीन बिकॉज़ इट मे बी आउट ऑफ़ आवर स्कोप, बट रिमेम्बर इफ यू आर डूइंग अ गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वर्क, यू नीड टू गिव द फिट आल्सो इफ यू हैव शाफ्ट्स so you need to have a small gap between the hole diameter and the shaft if it is a tight fit you may have a lot of friction okay it should not be very loose so it should be marginal so depending on the applications you need to use a good tolerance or the fit so the this is a part of our the manufacturing classes so in the manufacturing lessons uh, especially for mechatronic students the the lecturers will teach you about these things Okay, but in uh, I'm just showing you these kind of things should be given if you are working with a very precise design. Okay, so for example, like this, me karate part of my gahani mam ki hua. Ito pa siya yaha pe even in our say if I try to insert my USB pen drive to my computer, there is a small fit. Okay, ek loose yarn net na, tight me yarn net na. Nika saamane friction nahi ki yano. So you have to have that design. When you try to open your battery case uh, in a remote control, battery case ke cover ke tight fit ke Not very loose. Ke loose so you have to do that design in, designs correctly. If I put it tight ke when But when it, when you open and close, open and close for thousand times your battery case, battery case will fall off. Loose la yana friction ke so you have to do that kind of small uh, uh, changes when it comes to manufacturing. Okay, a tolerance then non hurry it. So that means manufacturing hurry it away. Okay, so we will uh, in your design classes they will teach more more about this. Uh, so and we have dual dimensions. So I said about that. I this. So this is about uh, this top one is in inches, bottom one is in millimeters. So if you are working with uh, America, they will use inches. Rest of the world will use millimeters. 
so if you are doing American project better you have dual dimensions so or work with inches okay so you can quickly uh, turn it on software will do that for you okay I don't need to worry about that so the dual in dimensions also have that uh, tolerance and other settings okay uh, then uh, we have the leader here uh, these are the arrow shapes normally we use in a design in architecture or engineering normally we use close fill arrows so this is called close fill arrow if you take open the other pull one hammer but normally we don't put one side close and the other side open him down there which is not a art class so this should not be a fashionable thing so you should have both sides say okay you can take a close and you can open him down there so normally and in architecture they use this tick mark also okay, so if you look at your house plan sometimes the architect uh, uh, may have put this one so this is uh, normally used by architects okay so engineering normally we use this so there are other methods also okay so uh, then uh, you have uh, i will not go through all the things uh, when we do our lessons we will come back to this okay so we change the line type normally we don't do this we we have to have continuous lines we can increase the line thickness so he will give you some values custom sizes available then uh, break lines uh, we will discuss about that custom text positions now the text position here is uh, above the arrow so when you click on these things you can uh, take to different places okay this is above this is broken leader horizontal text a comma horizontal theme this is align with the text so align with the arrow so you don't have much facilities compared to AutoCAD AutoCAD has a lot of facilities but SolidWorks is also giving you some good uh, tools uh, I will show you what are the facilities available in AutoCAD uh, in a glance api samanya isara kare make andala AutoCAD dweta dala fine tune karna because AutoCAD is really good thing presenting your work more better than solid works solid works is good for modeling dimensioning other things autocad is very good uh, but uh, now nowadays solid works is also better than the previous uh, versions okay so you need to have select the arrows so normally we'll keep this in continuous lines we will not normally keep the normal line uh, width then may uh, what a bit on color on a what a channel pull one expositions then we have these other things like when we come to here we can change the font sizes and other things uh, we can even have layers layers means you can have colors for this so this may a bit of blue may diameters or give up in a part of the unit of our part of the so we can create layers uh, so and uh, these drawing text plan view those things can be in another color so those can ca kind of things can be uh, given uh, i will turn this on and show you what are the tools we have here make up a syllabus again have autocad but uh, if you especially mechatronics guys try to learn this also a little bit uh, in my channel uh, you have a comprehensive note set about autocad also sometimes when you go to industry people will ask whether you know autocad okay so i don't have time to go through both uh softwares in very tight this is a very tight schedule so if you uh mm, so if you i open an autocad drawing uh, you you will have a lot of uh, just open something uh, dimension methods are uh, available here so those you can clearly see these dimension breaks leader tools tolerances center marks solid doors also has it but uh, autocad is much more appealing or nicer than solid doors 
ओके एक ए मेगोलो को हम तो और दो हाथली आपके तरफ आ रहा नहीं सो दे आर आई थिंक मोर देन फोर्टी इयर्स ओल दिस सॉफ्टवेयर सो सॉलिडर्स इज नॉट दैट मच ओल सो दिस इज दे दिस आर द पाइनियर्स इन कैट ओके सो दे दे हैव मच मोर बेटर टूल्स देन सॉलिडर्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू डिमेंशंस दे हैव लॉट ऑफ सेटिंग्स नाउ इफ आई जस्ट कम हियर एंड चेक दिस स्टाइल्स दे प्रोड्यूस uh you you have lot of settings uh arrow settings the metana solid dogs are mature arrows methods na okay so you solid dogs has only 5 or 6 here they have around 15 okay so he they they differently give leader arrows so they have arrow sizes center mark settings break sizes uh arc length symbols the meva solid dogs are na hai that okay so text settings text fonts are also nicer than solid dogs you can see this nice is showing okay fit uh, units primary units alternative units ungak ko meke tiyena wa solid dogs alta wediya but uh, our drawings also we can manage with uh, solid dogs uh, we'll see whether we need extra session to discuss about this but mama meka solid dogs ring autocad wata gan hati ara gan अरगन बलम तो आप कंपेर कर सॉलिड वर्क आप लसंट में पुलाटो कैट दी ओके सो वी वि लुक एट दैट इफ यू हेव इफ यू कैन इंस्टा दिस इट्स बेटर इन योर कंप्यूटर यू कैन गेट अ स्टूडेंट पर्सन मे वन फ्री हम बेना ऑटो डेस् लगे मन के अनरजिस्टर्ड लाइस हम बेना वन इयर लाइस सो यू कैन गेट इट फ्रीली Uh, from auto desk so if you have, have the ability to install this please do install this because uh, we may need this in your projects sometimes when you go to industry they will uh, ask whether you know auto can okay i have a internet is really so uh you you have to go to this website autodesk.com and uh, you can register since you have ns nsbm ids uh, you can register uh, as a student okay. so this these guys are giving more than 30 products so you can register i don't have my mobile phone to now verify my id Uh, so but you can register then uh, you can uh, search uh, auto autocad student versions okay method na product list ke search karana puluwa so you have lot of software in this uh, company uh, they will be they are giving uh, more than 30 so here we can get this autocad uh, so you may have heard about 3d max maya mudbox Remote in Navis works. Revit is good for civil work, architectural work. So uh, try to learn another CAD software. I ask you. Uh, or NX we have in our university we have NX. May may what I mean? Go to that one. Pull one. If you have the solid foundation, now I have given solid works. May give a idea. Tiye anything? Go on to make a pull one. No. So you can register first. Register then get a download. Not a trial. You can get a one year license. Okay, now that me free trial like a month, I'm giving away. Okay, so you can download student version one year full license. Sign into the uh, sign into their uh, me website. Okay, so when it comes to SolidWorks and AutoCAD, I will show you uh, what happens. Uh, the outcomes are different a little bit. This is more much more um, appealing. okay so i if i have a drawing i can show it uh, mm, mm, later we will show uh, you have to find it uh so uh, we will look at it uh, how to deal with both cases Now I talk. When you click here, you can get the settings. 
but uh, you do not see much more settings like AutoCAD. AutoCAD has a lot of settings. Maybe in about that. So if you look at the fonts also, very little settings. They, they are giving the layers. We will look at that later. Uh, these arrows also, they are not giving much. Okay, only a few number of arrow types. And uh, these are the uh, arrow positions. May arrow is alien than known. When you don't have space here. So if you have a narrow area, narrow area here, I, I am putting the arrow outside. So you have these kind of different techniques. Okay, so not like AutoCAD, AutoCAD has a lot of techniques. Okay. So uh, we will look at these examples now. So I have put a dimension here, then we can put horizontal, vertical, baseline dimensions chain dimensions likewise different ways of dimensions available chamfer dimensions available so we will look at these things one by one later uh, now we have this button model items so if you want to put dimensions quickly uh, we can ask the software to do it so model items uh, will give you an automatic method okay dimensions so I will select the model this model and if I want to put dimensions you can click on these patterns now the method of pattern I can click on this pattern too then the SOLIDWORKS will put the dimensions to the pattern automatically so I have clicked only this one marked for drawing okay. and if you want to specifically select some area just click on all these things then uh, if I select everything as annotation, surface finish, I'm automatically done on no? you just select that. Reference geometry says center lines and other marks. If you want to put it, select it. Then select this drawing. Okay. And press OK. And what happens here is he is going to put dimensions for it. Okay. So I have a small issue with my computer because this mod, com, mod thing is coming. Otherwise, this, this is diameter 40, diameter 42 diameter 20 likewise he is going to put dimensions for you okay so this is kind of an automatic method but you can see uh, when it comes to automatic method he is putting dimensions not very professional okay okay so you have mod 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 everywhere and this is somewhere here so you you have to do some manual adjustments okay so these three is can be taken outside like this so i said that we don't normally put like this okay and here we have one here some are dimensions are we don't need them. so if you don't need some dimensions you can delete that okay so if you want to customize these three you can uh, remove the decimal points none then you can go to leader here and custom text positions and put it uh, something like uh, with an arrow like this okay. so this kind of customization you can do so this finishing will take some time okay. so software is going to put the dimensions quickly but uh, I have to give my inputs now when it comes to this one we take it here I can use the traditional methods and put the dimensions using these techniques always I quickly go to model items and we can select everything if you want entire select feature feature get the pull one at the entire model just select this view and press ok he's going to put dimensions uh, Defined by geometry. Some are there. Some So some I am getting some errors. Uh, so my version is not good. So this mod dam is giving me lot of issues. Metana ya penna lati no hole leke vistar hole depth this much. All these symbols are not appearing. But if you look at our tutorial, check whether your computer is also having these issues. Uh, if you look at the tutorial, uh, this this is nicely present. This is the first time actually I got this error because I am using that student version. I think. Maybe last time the dalati, no? 
so you have uh, three circles diameter 3 3.6 through all software is giving you all these things automatically and the bottom is flat the flat bottom and the big circle diameter is 67 and the depth of that big circle is 1.65 so these things can be automatically put there is a tool for that uh, now here I, I didn't get it correctly because I have some uh, uh, library problems okay and here there's another tool here whole call out they make auto at an acre make a manually not that again method whole call out again so if I do it for this whole I delete this whole call out just select this okay it's okay here and uh, may diameter load the name again and here all call out true so it says true all okay r5 this r uh, yeah i think it's a extrusion true all extrusion so uh, it's not given perfectly the correct answers in my version so just try it by in your computer and see I'm having some issues with the version here. I try to install old version next day and try to explain these things correctly. My old version was working nicely. I put this 2021 version. 2020 was working perfectly. Uh, we come back to this again. Make a hurry to go to the whole leg at the main way. We start the whole leg and the main way. Here it's not coming. There is one reason behind this because I haven't used whole wizard. Make a whole wizard will in them mana gante dimensions down. So I just use normal cut tools and did it. But if you use whole wizard and drill the hole, you will get this kind of information informations. Very accurate information. Okay. So uh, normally what uh, what I do when I get a design is when I get a drawing, uh, is uh, I'm doing this way. I'll design I'll draw the whole thing. Okay, so I am drawing 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 the Use this one. So if I don't need this, untick. If you don't have surface finish, untick it. If you don't have data uh, features, mamaya tam explain kare na. Ogo don't labman sati vagi gamu. These things I am not going to put. So select whatever you want. Then select the feature or entire model and just select the uh, view and press OK. So software will do it for you. So he will put what wherever he likes. Then uh, our job is to take these things correctly into correct places and fine tune my work. Fine tuning you should do. In software can't do the fine tune. Okay. So up your assignment then over and maybe the tia vela and make it. You can't you have to be patient. Drawing karan the bear and So you have to have some patience and uh, may you have to wait we spend some time and take these things out of this junk here uh, you have to present it nicely okay so that takes some time finishing a drawing will take some time sometimes more than part design make a hard and a lot of dimensions and give a fine work fine outcome okay so i will move on with the slides So I said that we can use uh, model items and quickly put the dimension and uh, smart dimensions uh, we already know some of the techniques we can use it and put the dimensions and we have another one called uh, chamfer dimensions so this can be manually typed or we can ask the software to do it okay so if I uh, get a drawing related to that I don't have chamfers here I'll close this 
uh, I'll take a part file. It's available in chapter 15 in the first one. Uh, this model. So uh, you can get take the model and we'll generate it there. You have the drawing already, but we will generate it. So this is the model. We have a uh, chamfer seal. And uh, here we have a hold you uh, drawn by the whole visa. Okay, happy whole visa again the pattern hole then we can use that whole call out and explain you more. So uh, we have a chamfer, we have a pattern also. So we will use this model and explain you the tools. So I will uh, open uh, make a drawing from this part file. So you can click here and get make a drawing from part file. Uh, you want to open the file. This, this is a drawing file with the same name. We have to um, we'll open. Say we'll take this. No Uh, so I will take this top view then I will generate the front view okay so uh, now I, I talk about this tool earlier it didn't come uh, clearly in my work now here it should come so I select this hole And you can see uh, still it's not coming because my symbols are not loading so uh, diameter this diameter symbol should come and it's a through wall hole you can try it and see in your computer and uh, now when it comes to this one I can apply hidden lines so you can see two cent lines are there and uh, now I was in uh, put in the chamfer dimensions chamfer dimensions can be put to this edge okay so you click on this line and this line and uh, you can put a chamfer dimension okay. so now this is not really good looking then uh, we will go to these leaders and select the custom text positions and uh position and and say if it is okay we will drag this to this side present it like this so i will do this again uh, if this is uh, not clear to you so i will uh, do it again uh, go to this chamfer dimensioning uh, we have to select this angle here and the reference line this or this or this this is better and uh, you can see four four quadrants appearing so the police uh quadrants are like you can have a position can pull up otherwise you just put it like this this is not really good looking then i'll go to let leaders here custom text positions and select the positions whether you want it uh, horizontal underline text or this way this is the one we got it earlier then we have another one uh, align underline text okay. normally we use that earlier case i use this way horizontal text so this is the normal method okay then we will drag my arrow like this and customize it so and if you want no decimals you just uh, apply no decimals here and this normally we should select at least one decimal place okay and uh, tolerance if you want you can put it and uh, leader here uh, arrow shape you can change uh, break lines i don't need if you want you can increase the arrow uh, size here okay there was someone happy default here now uh, make a comma continuous lines normally we use then uh, others you can go to fonts here and apply a font okay so those are the uh, basic settings we normally do but uh, when it comes to uh, autocad software we have a lot of ways 
we'll see whether we need to learn about that later uh, so you can just click on these buttons and see whether there are changes happening some buttons are actually not working at the moment so this is how we put a uh, chamfer dimension in solid blocks and samharya uh, mantama i will come back to these things later but then also i have to take an example and show you uh, so we have discussed uh, smart some smart techniques model items and all columns uh, any questions let me know about this i will go on uh, now here uh, there are tools to put uh, center lines and center marks okay. center mark ekak metana da ganna on na i can i have to use the center sorry center line tool center line you just select this and this one is going to put you the center okay all the things are not automatically happening sometimes here when uh, here uh, it was happened center mark was given by the software sometimes it will work sometimes it may not work so if it is not working just select these two references and put it manually okay here suppose uh, i i delete this i delete this so i am deleting center lines and i can delete center marks here now uh, we can ask the so uh, uh, we can do it manually center marks just select the circle okay and uh, now you can do select you can select all the circles but uh, if you have 100 circles to do this we can't do that we can ask the software to do it so for all holes for all fillers for all slots and uh, uh, if I uh, just press OK, uh, it's not appeared. Uh, sometimes these things will, these things are happening depending on the auto insert. Uh, to manually insert center mass, select the circular. To automatically insert, the circle, select the auto insert option and then select one or more drawing views. So auto select uh, this drawing view. You can see everything came. So including the center marks, enter lines, it automatically came. So I will do it again. So select this center mark tool. Uh, go to for all halls. Just read these instructions and select the view. Okay. In one shot I can put it. Otherwise if I do it manually. I have to uh, select center mark. Select se all the halls separate. The Mehemaya Nakota. Uh, options we look at these options uh, center mark single center mark linear center mark so when you click here automatically it's coming okay so i mark, mark individual circles but if i want to mark the lines between the circles this can be used okay. and if i have a pattern circular pattern you just click this button then the software will pattern it for you like uh, the things I showed in AutoCAD class, AutoCAD lecture. Uh, here I showed you it. Uh, AutoCAD uh, last dimension slide. This is. So uh, <coughs> if you have a pattern, you just select the linear tool pattern tool. Sorry, it does do it for you. Okay, so that is the uh, that tool, the may may tool like a method of the bonita. So it's still loading. It's slowing my computer. Uh, this one, this tool. Okay, circular so center mark. So if you have if you have a slot, you can mark the center marks of the slots. Okay, so remember these uh, easy tools. Center line tool is to mark the center lines. Okay, software is not doing it everything for you so if it is not doing everything uh, you will not have a job in the industry so the 
manual engineering input should be given so center line yeah, center mark select a circle yeah, and select these kind of methods he will do it for you he will make a select color so he will do it for you yeah, you can try it and see so we have discussed some dimensions smart tools model items then I have discussed uh, center mark, center line, and whole call out. Whole call out, unfortunately, it's not correctly appearing. We'll see whether we, we are by taking another example whether we are getting it correctly. So, these things also uh, can be learned by yourself, even, but since you are just coming into the drawing classes, I'm let, I'll let you know about these things. You have to have some notes in a drawing. We notes done or drawings on. What are the notes we are putting normally? We say this is a plan view, this is a front view. Likewise, normally we have to give that. This is the plan, this is the front. Eva manually done, you know, solid toss is not going to do it for you. So I have to do some manual text type. Okay. So you can just select a position and just type say this is the plan. Okay. So, mama may have a nature of the Kiana and Nina because it's obvious things. Uh, it's like Microsoft Excel. I hope everyone is good in Microsoft packages. So, you in our assignment, sometimes we will ask you to select the same uh, font type, font sizes, color, karana, bold, karana. So, sometimes we will ask you to do those things. Okay. So, those things are not difficult things uh yes okay so i can put something like this in my work okay. so you can just go to notes and put uh, they are showing an example propane tank so you can have a note like that so if you have if you want to have a note with an arrow you can enable the arrow notes arrow sim tools so here we have arrow, arrow tools leader so i can have a leader like this way so we can have a note like this. Okay. So I can type, I will just type something this way. Click outside. This is my note. Okay. So the note is above the arrow. Okay. So this is normally called the landing. Above the landing. Okay. Arrow okay. landing the good in time note take the end. So you can change it. You know, tool selling. Uh, we can change it. Straight leaders, then leaders with the landing above the lead uh, landing. Likewise, uh, you can select. Normally, uh, we use this way. Okay. Our conventions are like this. Okay. The may have a borders done. Put on so those things. It's up to you to learn these things. Okay, I can't go through all these things. Software teaching is difficult because you have a lot of tools. Some tools uh, you have to master by yourself. Okay, square shape. Okay, with none likewise. So just go through these things uh, and check. If you have a doubt in any of the things, let me know next day. We will try to take it into the class. Okay, so normally we use the normal settings like this so you go to note here select the arrow shape you want and select the area uh, you want to put the note okay so you take the arrow this side or this side so you have to pick that here so you just look at those settings and put it like this and type the text you want click outside and change the text position if you want by clicking on the arrow uh, and go to these other methods okay. so those are the things we normally use so we uh, use smart tools we use model tools we use text notes in a drawing we uh, mark the centers center line center marks we use all callouts. Uh, so I am going gradually to the other areas. 
okay so any questions about this uh, close we i did up to now so i didn't discuss surface finish uh, we will keep that to the next day uh, surface finish is some simply you have to give that finishing whether this is a very uh, rough finish or a smooth finish likewise uh, we have to give that finish in uh, um, conditions of a surface to the manufacturer okay what a symbols you know i don't need to write them and give it verbally or i don't, don't need to write lengthy paragraphs so i ha i can just give some symbols then the manufacturer will know about it okay so and datum features datums i can mark the me wage ka drawing ekak kapita read kara ganna puluwan wenna ona okay so he, we have here uh, some datums may this is called a datum okay so i have marked this surface as a okay metara kara thiyena me a kiyala me yawa nam kar then i can use refer a in whatever the place i like and give information so what we have done here is okay mamaya dana hati navasa thi kiyanna i have marked this surface as a and i have given something related to a here okay so i have marked this surface as a meka thama api samanya muli manufacture karala iwara karala so then you come to the inside holes so you have to manufacture this part first the data then comes to this uh, rectangle hole shape hollow shape uh, so we mark a also here and we said some parallel symbol is given this is the parallel tolerance symbol we have set of symbols for tolerances parallel is one of them and we say 0.001 what is the meaning of this this and this are parallel but parallelism can change by 0.001 okay ek yanne metana perfectly thiyenna one 10 mm but you can go up to 10.001 mm as well as you can go backward 9.999 mm okay so we don't need to give a value here plus 10 plus something here me parallelism ekak wenas wenna puluwa 0.001 okay so this is called a geometric tolerance okay if you give a value for this dimension it's called dimensional tolerances so we have two kinds of tolerances in a drawing one is called uh, dimension tolerances ek api podda wala kalin katha kara metana metana api example ekak metana api dala bennu ogolanta dimensions uh, uh, we can have a <coughs> we can have a dimensional tolerances these are called dimensional tolerances me wage ekak api dammu what again a dimensional tolerance similarly we can have a tolerance called geometrical tolerances based on the geometries because we can't put a dimension tolerance for this one because how how we have to put lot of dimensions here otherwise meta mehema dunnama api danno 0.001 wali wenas wenna puluwa okay so i don't need to give 10.001 here and 9.99 here in between i don't know what is the difference so if someone give this way obviously manufacturer will stick to this limit so when he will me measure from here measure from here measure from the middle and try to maintain this tolerance same thing here okay so we mark this data as b so we have to drill this hole first make an mm muling kapan me a kapan drill the hole based on b we are ma drilling the other slot shape so when it comes to drilling the other slot shape uh, i have to select b as my parent and this is the concentric uh, symbol that is both these slot and the holes uh, shares the same center okay me denna me ekama center ekin duwan shares the same center but the center location can be deviated by 0.002 okay ideally they should overlap but practically it's not going to overlap there will be deviations the deviations is maximum allowed is 0.002 it can be plus or minus okay so uh, your center point of the hole and the center point of the slot 
can deviate this much of millimeters okay so remember that okay uh, but deviation can be 0 0.002 so those are called geometric tolerances so we can put these things in our drawing sheet next day we will look at it how to put it okay so uh, we can put uh, nicely like this without uh, typing manually we can ask the software to load these symbols and do it so this is another one datums uh, datums can be even put in 3d figures like this uh, we will do that uh, next day mm, center marks uh, i have given how to show i have shown you how to do it so these are different center marks appearances we can have individual center marks single center marks linear center marks or kind this kind of center marks base center marks they call and uh, this is another way medana medan mark kandapino is another way they we mark everyone okay so different ways are available radial lines okay so depending on your uh, you may have your own uh, way of uh, giving the output but try to be stick to the principles okay uh, hurry drawing principles are the outcome like then then we have center lines we have discussed this also how to put the center lines. all call outs so i uh now this is the thing i had some errors in my computer so you can uh, ask the software to do this automatically we'll see whether we have uh, another example which is working so here also i don't i didn't get it correctly i will uh, try to get another view and show you Uh, this has a error this figure i'll take the next one so we'll take this one for the next day we'll take this one okay so this is the model uh, we are using So I will generate the drawings. Already, it's generated by the uh, by the soft, uh, by the book book authors. So I will uh, do it again. So I will take a drawing file. Then uh, say two. Then uh, we will get it here. Take the palette. So I will uh, take this drop in. Okay. So here uh, we have we can see center mark center lines were marked. Uh, I'll take this view also. Then we will look at whether this is working this time. Whole call outs. I'll select this one. It's working, but I have lo choose with the loading the symbols. So make a when the end a diameter symbol, like a diameter through a through all all spot so these are not actually loading but if you look at my slide this was the, actually the first time i got this error in my solidworks classes uh, i think it depends because of this version uh, so now if you compare the things that came from solidworks and the slide computer uh, i have a live issue so here diameter 12 through all kin okay through with right in all net so you should get through all then you need to get this flatness symbol counterbose symbol okay diameter 18.5 and this depth symbol 
for depth 5.5 so this is the best way the accurate most accurate way okay so i'll try to rectify my computer next day and and come up with the correct answer so this should be coming in your computer okay. so if there are library issues you will get this kind of a thing and uh, cosmetic threads make up mama kata kara cosmetic threads uh, when it, when it uh, when I told you about the thread tools, so we'll take the example. Cosmetic threads are not real ones. Uh, I don't have a exact file here, so you can take any file you have and uh, mark the cosmetic threads. The cosmetic threads are in design again. So yeah, if I just look at the design, we have cosmetic threads here. No, so you need to have, have the cosmetic threads in your file uh, the, as a feature. So you need to just select. Uh, that tool cosmetic thread tool here it's not available if something is not available uh, you need to always go through this big list here annotations and find this okay so cosmetic thread is uh, if you have a cosmetic thread you need to just select the circular model circle model select so if you have done uh, a cosmetic thread design he will put it for you okay so method the uh cosmetic thread deka api nikan dala pennanna puluwa so you need to just select the circular edge uh, and it will automatically put this cosmetic thread symbol so i will undo this and see okay metana ek api tichara pain na so you need to get a feature which is having some cosmetic threads you have to go to insert annotations cosmetic threads and select the edge and uh, press ok that's all so here we are not getting any output because we don't have a cosmetic thread in our design uh, you can try it uh, with the model you have at home mm. ok so I have done some work uh, or I have done some theory parts uh, we will do these this next day and uh, you can complete this tutorial at home now make tutorial like a professional I, I i have to say that mokada ma ehema kiyuwe mama ogolonna class ekak uganna pu theory walta nemei meka karala thiyenne honda okay meka me this is done by uh, the book uh, publisher so this is not really good why i'm saying that this 40 i should not bend my heads and uh, try to read this so you can have 40 nicely horizontally uh, shown 42 horizontally we can show and uh, this one uh, we'll do, discuss next day how to do it this 10 12 may add it down okay so you try to avoid those things for an example if i want to put 40 i should do it very nicely so i will do it and show you uh, chapter 14. Okay. So if I want to put a diameter, one way is we can ask model items and quickly do it. But anyway, anyhow, we have to do some ed editing. So we can go to smart here and say select this circle. Okay. And mehematama normally wet in R. I don't need R here, I want uh, diameters. Okay, so this is the normal outcome, and uh, you can change the decimal places. And uh, 
you can go to leader here and uh, you can select the custom text positions and try to get the horizontal position like this okay and uh, these are the things that we got this way okay then uh, others uh, if you want you can change the set font settings uh, primary values uh, yes and if it is a diameter if it is not coming accurately you can type dia like this and OS you can use this symbol okay this is not working in my computer the symbol I am typing manually okay so those kind of things should be applied otherwise your dimensions are not really professional looking okay so this way we can put it always you can take this text here okay if this is manually ha not happening apita puluwa metana note ekata gihilla note ekak danna we use this text tool uh, arrow here me wage manually this is entirely manual this takes some time so you can put the diameter symbol or yes apply dia and try it manually okay the metana uh api millimeters kila daanne ne okay so we don't put everywhere millimeter 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 at the bottom of the drawing somewhere here we need to uh, mention that this is done in millimeters okay so here the drawing name is given scale given sometimes the scale will be different in uh, different views uh, then we this is the paper size uh, you can fill these areas if you like then automatically these things will be going to fill and uh, drawing date is important drawing is done in millimeters you can have a small text type at the bottom saying this is the all dimensions are in millimeters someone happy can all dimensions are in millimeters so we don't mix the dimensions we don't put 14 millimeters here and the 21 in inches here so we have to have a certain single unit in everywhere okay so try to complete this drawing as like this menna me wage karanna me tutorial ekak echchara honda te eka karala na okay meka veradi na but not a professional work this is okay this is quite okay 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 section aa this is normally manually automatically comes up but if you want you can type it uh, these things also check whether you can uh, load these things in your computer to 10 may 10 utari tabilane so you have to have horizontal 10 uh, and try to complete this one as well as try to complete this tutorial also Oh, no. make a, a balance current so we we cannot do this we'll do it next day how to put the balance and complete the work okay so try to complete this tutorial by yourself next week and uh, we'll discuss any problems there so next uh, coming wednesday i have a assignment so please be ready for the assignment like the last week last time work try to get uh, good marks uh, we are giving 30 marks out of 100 this is our second assignment and don't copy from each other uh, we had some bad times last assignment in the last assignment so i hope this time it won't happen okay so any questions about uh, today's lesson so some of the tools i didn't discuss we will do it next day uh, any problems if i before I wind up so next uh, week uh, next Wednesday uh, 2 o'clock our session starts so we will start around 2 10 past 2 our assignment uh, it will be 2 hours uh, 2 hours are not needed actually okay if you are a really good person you can do within 1 hour I'm giving some more time just to get some uh, say you need to get some good marks okay at the Hamadam Lakununa, then I, you will fail the subject. That that's going to be a problem for everyone. Okay. So and install uh, AutoCAD uh, in your computer. I'll show you how to take this into AutoCAD and do some fine tune. Okay. So get uh, install AutoCAD also. Uh, 
register in Autodesk and get a full version. They are given 2022 data version. Okay. Mm, any questions about uh, today's work? Yes, yes. On 15th uh, at 2 o'clock, uh, they are starting, uh, but assignment will be started around 2 past 10 past 2. Uh, so try to score, okay? So try to score, okay? Just uh, try to look at the uh, lofting areas uh, specifically. Lofting, uh, sweep, 3D sketches. Um, and other tools in chapter 10 and 11 okay special so it's also a single part single part drawing i'm giving as a second assignment also uh mama then in a final assignment i will have a assembly draw okay so uh i hope everyone will do some good work uh, have your computers ready current ready laptops two laptops or uh, two computers can't help you need to have it Okay, so backup power, whatever the things are uh, ready with you for the assignment. Okay, that this is the new way of uh, doing assignment. So you need to get those additional backups when you do a assignment. Mama, uh, for an example, yesterday my child had the uh, online exam. Even they have online exams, grade one people, grade three, four people. So uh i plug my uh, internet connection to the ups because uh, if suddenly current goes off uh, they will lose the connection and be, they will uh, terminate the exam the exam will be terminated because it's an online exam so they are looking towards you always and uh, if there's an internet problem there will be problem so if you feel that uh, your current is going tomorrow uh better have ups backup or inverter backups then inverter backups with you know go in my marketing so i switch this off uh, 